This is the stuff, guys, that causes gold bulls to go crazy because banking fears, if there's collapses there, this could become a bigger financial sort of situation. So as I look at the gold market, the banking situation is scary, but there's also recession fears, the big R word. There's recession fears. There's worries, a notable one, the debt in our country, in the US, and the debt ceiling, and the almost certainty that they're gonna raise that debt ceiling yet again, right? They have to, it's, a, it's how our system operates. So anyways, my point with sharing with this with you guys is all of these are fundamental catalysts. You know, I, I go through uh, Twitter and maybe that's my first mistake is I scroll through Twitter. I, I've become a, more and more addicted to Twitter over time. Well, Twitter has become so, you know, interesting in the trading space. Some people say fundamentals do matter. Some people don't say they don't matter. What's going on right now is very, very important fundamentally to the price of gold, to the dollar, to the S&P. And uh, as, as John Tooth in the chat says, Domino's, I don't know if you're talking about Domino's pizza or if you're talking about the Domino's are lined up for some serious uh, trouble. But there's a lot of stuff that looks very, very sketchy. And I'm not uh, an overly, I'm not an overly pessimistic person. You know, you get the, the perma bears in the market, but this stuff right here creates very, very heavy upside pressure for the metals market, in my opinion, as people uh, may look to them as safe havens. Yesterday, with the sign of more rate hikes, gold went up. And if you are, if you've been watching the markets and you know, that's sort of an anomaly. That's a newer concept to, to recent developments showing gold retaking its spot as a risk off asset. So that's why I'm bullish on gold. Ducks in a row. John, I, I hear you. I hear you on that one. So my point here with this is that gold on pullbacks looks really interesting to me. Last night, we retested just shy of the all-time high. If price is pulling back now into this level, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty interested. Now, I, I'm going to try and be stubborn here and see if I can get a deeper retracement yet again. I'm going to try and play this patiently. Um, I'd be interested around 2015, right? Somewhere around that level. If we can get a deeper retracement, I believe that brings us to a 50%, just shy of a 50%, about a 61.8% retracement on this big pop, right? Because I want to, I don't want to chase the pop, but I think you get really great, in my opinion, I think I get really great risk reward around this 61.8% retracement and looking for us to run back up to those all time highs. Now, again, this is my opinion. Uh, yes, we've got unemployment claims. Thank you, Jason. Uh, let's do our breaking news. Unemployment claims coming out here in just a moment, guys. Thank you, Jason and Chandler for that, uh, that setup. We're now taking a look. At unemployment claims, again, uh, Fed has shown its willingness to focus now on the data very heavily. So this makes this increasingly interesting, I think, to the markets. We're pending here now on unemployment claims this morning. Do you have any questions about any of our products or services? Right now, members of the A1 Trading team are standing by waiting to assist you. You can head over to our website, a1trading.com, and click the icon in the bottom right-hand corner to chat with one of our team members live. You can also go to a1trading.com slash contact and fill out the contact us form and someone will get back to you shortly. We have our helpful and friendly members of our support staff ready to chat with you anytime Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern. Eastern time. So what are you waiting for? If you have any questions, feel free to chat with us live right now on the A1 Trading website. And if anybody has numbers earlier than Forex Factory, please feel free to share them in the chat. And again, unemployment claims, what we're paying attention to here. Following that, we also have the ECB press conference, and there it is, about as expected at 242,000 jobs, uh, unemployment claims. Uh, compared to 239. So nothing too surprising there. Probably shouldn't be too much of a market mover there on uh, the dollar. 
Um, so here's your 15 minute chart. Yeah, so it was moving up prior to this, uh, has not made too much of a substantial move on that uh, release. Here is the dollar on the, uh, the hourly chart. And so again, uh, dollar came down, broke underneath briefly, and I actually would like this dollar to get a little bit of a bid here this morning to hopefully help me get into my trade that I want on gold. I'm trying to be patient, waiting for some sort of a pullback to that 61.8% retracement, as I mentioned here just briefly ago. So that's a trade I'm looking at. S&P 500 is also something on my watch list. Uh, the S&P trading around 4,081 here, just shy of major support that we've had uh, at 4070. The Euro dollar here, Euro dollar tumbling back down. Uh, after briefly trying, you had a little bit of a, uh, a false break here to the upside, whatever you'd like to call it doesn't matter people people like to come up with fancy nicknames you know for this sort of move i just call it a fake breakout right it it, it tried to break through hires uh, higher highs and uh ultimately did not quite succeed and tumbled back down where does the euro go from here well again uh today's refinancing rate came out pretty much as expected with uh the ecb coming out at 25 basis point rate hikes again they have the press conference at 8 45 um which could be very interesting. We're gonna bring in uh, a guest here. I'm gonna say hello to Marco today. So Marco, I don't think I've actually had a chance. Say hello, Marco. Marco, how are you? Hello, I'm good, I'm good, how are you? Good, I can see some of your content. You do a great job and thank you for joining me on the show today. Yep, no problem, no problem. Hey, Marco, so walk me through, what have you been paying attention to? I can't, I can't stop looking at the gold chart here today. Anything, mm -hmm. what are you looking at today? Yes, I'm trading mostly Forex or only Forex. And okay. today I'm looking at the Euro and the Japanese Yen. Okay. So only the one hour chart. That's what I'm looking at. Basically Are you on looking... EJ. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, only the one hour. And I'm looking for descending structures or ascending structures. So for example, right now I'm seeing a descending channel forming, which mm -hmm. often signals to me a reversal to the upside. So I'm looking for momentum to kick up to confirm a reversal. And then I would be looking to buy. Yeah, exactly. So, so that's the gotcha. channel. Yep. So you're and looking for something else, like a breakout. Yeah, basically like a breakout and momentum and then a break and retest or a flag formation, any of the two. So like a small pullback to, to get in. Fair enough. Got it. Yeah. yeah, no, the the yen crosses have been wild. So you trade, you're trading off the one hour chart. Do you usually look at higher time frames than that? Or are you no, uh, only, strictly only the one hour? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yep. Yeah, so we've been in to your point there. Beautiful downward structure here. Um, the last, you know, day or so ever since we had mm -hmm. uh, the Fed meeting, which really continued to push it down. Uh, but to your point, if you get sort of that structure breaking out to the upside, um you know you have you have sort of a runway here in front of you just to mm -hmm. to bring in the higher time frames the four hour chart also looks really interesting as well i think you know you're coming into a level of support here around that 148.5 level we're seeing some reaction already should be very mm -hmm. interesting mm -hmm. to see if there's some sort of breakout like you're talking about on the lower time frames going into today's trading action so yeah um Marco, you're a regular on the channel, uh, so you know you know kind of the drill. You get a chance to take over for a little bit, go through your charts, and share with us. I'd love to see more uh, from you there. So, uh, if you want to share your screen, you're welcome to uh, to mm -hmm. take over here for a little bit. And while you're doing that, I do want to remind you guys that we're doing our $500 Bitcoin uh, before I step out and give the floor to Marco. Remember, guys, we are doing $500. And Bitcoin giveaway this month. If you want to join that giveaway, we've got a link being dropped in the chat right now. Click that link. It's in the chat. There it is. Click this link. Send us a direct message and ask to join the giveaway and uh, you'll get a chance to do that. Don't forget to check out the links in the description if you want our broker recommendation, access to our free Discord, free Edge Finder, or want to chat with us on Telegram. Remember, you can watch us live in the markets every morning starting at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and we have lots more free trading tools and content available on our website, a1trading.com. Thanks for watching.